Hey there, this is uh, Chris Park, the founder and lead designer at uh, Arkin Games. We're going to take a quick look at the combat in The Last Federation, which is our uh, upcoming uh, space strategy game, which is coming up next, uh, well, in February, anyway. And uh, so what you're looking at here is an alpha build, and um, we'll take a look at combat in this specifically. Uh, the main menu buttons and so forth that you see here are temporary. There's, you know, the combat balance is in the early stages. The combat AI is incomplete, but it's coming on well. Um, you know, it's it's an alpha. Um, the combat practice screen here is actually pretty much final or very close. Um, you can use this to set up your own custom scenarios and uh, then play out basically, you know, a battle, a little skirmish and see how you did and you can set up you know things that are easy things that are stacked way against you whatever and just basically try out tactics this way so if you're having trouble with something in the game uh, then this is a great way to you know fine-tune a situation uh, and then just you know try it repeatedly and you know learn that way versus having to just wait until it comes up again in the game uh, it's also really useful for testing for us um, anyway, so um, the game is based around having, the, the combat portion of the game is based around having uh, centerpieces, which, you know, generally flagships, but it sometimes are like outposts or a freighter or a bomber or something like that. And um, the uh, first person to kill the other guy's flagship is most of the time the one that wins. There's some variance, but that's bulk of the time. Um, that's what we're going to be seeing here. Uh, the centerpiece, in our case, our flagship here, uh, deploys you know one or more squadrons, depending on how many they have. Um, we've got it set up so that I've got nine, and I guess the enemy has twelve, looks like. Um, and then you can also choose uh, what pilots you have, uh, both for the race and f uh, the enemy races, as well as uh, for your own squadrons. And it gives different um, bonuses depending on what kind of pilots there are. Right now there's one type of pilot for every one of the races, um, but there uh, will eventually be you know, more than one type of pilot for a race. Um, right now I've chosen to play against the Thraxians, uh, who are these kind of really terrifying uh, aliens. You'll notice I can't hi uh, hire them for myself uh, because they are actually um, uh, a hive mind, so you know, there's they don't have mercenaries for hire, and you know we're a mercenary outfit. Anyhow, let's jump on in. Um, so this is kind of a randomized um, set of squadrons. There's no rhyme or reason to what these are. I just hit the randomized squadrons thing. I have vanilla ship AI with no special bonuses on mine. We have the Thraxian terrors on theirs. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we come in here. This is my flagship here. Uh, you can see there's a um, chunk of ice floating by. Um, and um, we've got, first of all, some frigates of mine that have popped out. And then it's building a cruiser. Let me go ahead and pause this real quick. Um, you can always pause really easily. Just tap the space bar. There's buttons on the screen. Same deal with fast forward. Just hold down F or hold down the fast forward button there. Uh, the idea is that you have a really uh, fine-grained uh, control over time so that you can um, you know, make the decisions and so forth that you want to make, not necessarily under time pressure, but at the same time the battles are really quick and brutal. So uh, if you are experienced enough to play without pausing, you can be done with a lot of these skirmishes in under a minute. It's, it can be pretty pretty brutal. Um, but even there, uh, there's a lot of maneuvering and so forth that goes on, so you may wind up needing to pause to give orders to a bunch of different squadrons to move them around. Um, down here at the bottom of the screen, you can see each of my, I guess it was nine squadrons, and uh, you can see which ones are deployed. Right now the frigates, 
the first set of frigates are deployed. The cruisers are in the process of deploying, so you can see the little progress bar going across. Little tick marks down here in the bottom corner show up for the ones that are not yet deployed and show uh, how many energy tanks it takes to deploy them, which is basically how long it takes. Uh, and up here in the corner, you can see uh, the progress in actual energy tank terms. Um, and you can see over here on the right what the enemy is doing. Um, you can see uh, the name of me, I'm the last hydral, that's who you are, um, there's a story behind that. And then you can see the name of the uh, enemy ship. You can see your health, enemy centerpiece health, the shields on your centerpiece, shields on their centerpiece, and whichever one of those green bars hits zero first, uh, that person, you know, loses. Uh, this little indicator down here, the enemy ship is down here, so there's the Thoraxians. Turns out they have also launched some uh, frigates uh, to start out with here, um, and uh, looks like they are heading my way. So, um, I've got some cruisers that are coming out. They have something that's really big. We can't see what they're building out, bringing out, but we can see what their uh, energy reactor is kind of pumped up to. So we see they're bringing out something that costs four energy. My bet is that that's probably cruisers. Um, since, you know, this was a combat practice, actually, uh, you know, we can kind of cheat and know in advance what it was they had, but I didn't bother to memorize it, so. All right, let's turn this back on. All right, so we unpause. Fast forward real briefly here. All right, so now um, I've got my cruisers out. Uh, I don't want destroyers out yet. I'm going to shift around my queue. So this is something that's really important. The deployment order is something that... Uh, matters a lot because they're bringing out okay they've got their cruisers I was right now they're bringing out something else that costs three that could be a lancer that could be a destroyer that could be a sniper I don't know what it is uh, there's a lot of stuff that costs three in our case um, I'd really like to have some fighters next so down here in this um, bottom bar I'm going to left click fighters and you can left and right click stuff to move it around in the queue here if it's not already out and um, fighters will be the next thing to get built. I'm going to move battleships up after that. Um, fighters will be the next thing to get built. And those are really useful because they're uh, small, fast. Um, they're not really that strong in terms of individual firepower. But they also block shots. All of the shots in the game, uh, the, the weapons fire and all that sort of thing, are actually fully simulated, unlike our game AI War, where it's more, you know, just... Uh, homing and if a shot gets fired at you it's pretty much going to hit you. Uh, here if the enemy fires a shot and you manage to swing a fighter in front of it then boom your fighter takes the hit instead of whatever was in front of it. So having a swarm of fighters escorting our um, uh, flagship is not necessarily a, a bad thing. So um, again we'll unpause this. Um, we've got the cruisers there coming around. All right, so the fighters are one of these sets of ships that are actually fully animated. Uh, they actually have their thrusters and so forth, and they have their uh, mode lights. So you can see they're glowing yellow. That shows that they're in escort mode. Um, I'm going to select my cruisers here. I'm going to put those guys into um, fire at will mode. And so they're coming up over to the enemy here instead. All right, now my battleships. Those guys are going to wreck some stuff. Um, I'm going to move my flagship away a little bit. Okay, so there's the beams. Ooh, that's not good. Um, all right, so I'm going to pause here. Um, hmm. Okay, so we've got some cruisers that are really up close here. Um, you can see down here at the bottom we've lost our frigates and our cruisers. Um, our fighters, we've got like one guy left and he's almost dead. You can see the little green health bars which show you the overall status. Our battleships are doing well. Our lancers are doing well and they're up here. Well, they're about half dead anyway. And then we've got some destroyers uh, coming. Um, golly. Um, our shields have taken a beating and you can see they've gotten visibly smaller. The um, uh, flagship that we have is another one of the things that's fully animated. Uh, so are the missiles. Um, 
and battleships for that matter. So I'm gonna move battleships up one. Well, destroyers are almost halfway done, so we're gonna let them come out next. Fighters, we can get out quick. They'll provide some mobile cover. Battleships will then be able to bring out and provide some cover. So um, at this point, I could either opt to start trying to hammer the enemy uh, ship here, but they have pretty high shields, and battleships use um, energy weapons, which enemy shields uh, are resistant to. So they're not really a great choice for that. So probably these cruisers are what's really causing problems. So I'm going to get these battleships um, onto those. And while I'm at it, I'm going to make sure that my ah, um, yeah, make sure that my flagship and lancers actually are after them too. So these these cruisers, those are my top kill priority. All right, let's see what's happening. Boom. All right. Well, there goes one. Boom. Okay. Good. This is looking a lot better all of a sudden. All right, our two um, flagships are trading fire. All right, good. Now, I'm going to have my fighters come in here and just kind of hang out, slowly turning in this area. They're just blocking missiles. Okay, great. There's more cruisers. That's not what I'd hoped would happen. All right. Um... And our battleships are losing health fast. Oh man, that's a lot of enemy cruisers. All right. Um, and I'm about to just have battleships, which are not going to do diddly against those enemy shields. So really my only hope is to take these battleships and see if I can get rid of these cruisers. And... I really wasted those fighters there. I could have made a go at the enemy shields, but I wasn't really... I haven't played this very smart, this particular skirmish. I'm not doing a very good job of showing you a uh, good way to play. All right, um, let's give this a shot. Ooh, boy. By the way, if you find this too fast, then you can actually turn down the speed as well. It's a settings option. Um, I like the speed. Yeah, that was good. Um, the Lancers have beam weapons, and I got a lucky shot off there with just really coming in and hammering them. Uh, shoot. Uh, hammering them all in a line. That was just a stroke of luck, really, is what it boils down to. Now that I, my battleships are still useless against it. Excellent. All right. Well, that turned around quick. There was a couple of lucky shots there from my Lancers. Um, so, yeah, that was a, uh, a skirmish there. And uh, let's do it again. Uh, same scenario. Let's see if it's different. Okay. So... They're over there. There's our friends, the Thraxians. They're coming my way. I'm going to move away from them. Uh, these frigates are in escort mode, so they're just going to uh, follow around my flagship. Their frigates are in escort mode as well. Um, I'm going to get a lot of fighters really soon here, and then I'm going to shift some battleships up. And we'll save our lancers for last. Um... Okay, these cruisers, here's, this is more fun. Um, this is more of a maneuver uh, skirmish already. Um, because I've not let them close the distance to me uh, quite so much, um, these cruisers, you see how they're just hanging out over there? They're flanking me, is what they're doing. They've got a couple of defensive fleets going on over there. Um, and what they're planning on doing, probably, and here's a fleet that's just wandering. They're kind of skirting the back end. At some point, they're going to find an attack fleet here, and ah, their lancers are kind of trying to pick at me here. And uh, as soon as that happens, they are just going to swoop in. So, all right. Fire at will, boys. And, okay. 
And I've got some destroyers out here as well. Okay. See, this is where some of the AI needs a little bit of work. Those guys um, who were flanking me, um, what they really should have done is they should have uh, um, swept in from the side as soon as I started attacking their ship. But uh, right now they're programmed to only swoop in from the side once they get an attack on you. And so that's a good example of where we've got some cool AI going, but it's not complete yet. So, um, But it's one of those things where... Uh, you know, in the next week or two, that's really going to be um, in a much different situation. So, let's do it again. Let's randomize it this time. Um, so, a whole different bunch of stuff. Alright, we've got some pirate fighters this time. Um, let's pause and see what all we've got here. Pirate frigates! You know, these Lancers have been doing really well. They may be out of balance. It's entirely possible. Um, but I want some fighters really quick to cover me. All right, and let's fast forward so we get our fighters just zipping around. The Lancers, all right, now making no effort to get away from the enemy. All right, they've got, what are these? They've got some pirate fighters up there that are flanking me once again. And they've got some snipers, which are doing a pretty good job of maintaining range. You can see all the range circles there. Um, okay, flanking guys have actually swept in this time. Ooh, crud. All right. All righty. See, right now, the uh, AI plays really aggressively with its flagship. It tries to close distance. One of the things we're going to be doing is adding um, a bunch of different uh, behavior, so they're not always this aggressive. Uh, some of the, you know, races naturally have a tendency to be a little more pass um, um, passive and hang back and uh, really want to reflect that in how they fight as well. The Thraxians closing distance for the burlesque, that's pretty realistic anyway. Um, as it stands, they've closed distance. All my fighter cover was really for nothing because the uh, multi-gun and the homing missiles off the um, uh, Thraxian Devastator here have been doing their job. Um, or rather, Thraxian flagship is named Devastator. Okay. Uh, so... I have a battleship that is very just getting started. I'm going to lose the progress on that, but I'm switching in a cruiser anyway because I think that'll be more helpful. And I'll switch a frigate in front of that. Because um, at this range, the, the battleships are really good at clearing lots of little guys, and that's not what I'm seeing here. What we need are some guys that are excellent at cutting through um, enemy forces. And thankfully, we've got some lancers as it stands, uh, and then having some cruisers to kind of complete the job will be good. And they already have enough out to deal with it as it is, but that's an awful lot of homing missiles hanging around. Let's see what happens. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Okay, those snipers are a problem. Fire at will, boys. Oh, snakes. Yeah, sniper balance is not something I've tested at all. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right, so snipers probably out of balance. Um... And that is a great, what we do is we run all sorts of tests with those, and we do battle simulations, then we run hand tests, and so forth. But all that takes a lot of iterations, and, um, you know, we're just still uh, in the early stages of that. So, um, you can see how the battles are very brutal, and they can go by very quickly. Uh, you can make them take longer by, you know, pausing and thinking about what you're doing. And uh, with an AI that's a little less... Um, <laughs> brutally on top of you, uh, they, uh, you know, will tend to hang back more and, uh, you know, give you more time to maneuver. Just like in that second battle where I hung back more and therefore they couldn't close the distance as much as they would have liked to. And, uh, you know, uh, therefore there was a lot more flanking going on and that sort of thing. Uh, if there were more asteroid fields uh, or ice 
uh, fields floating through, then we could take cover behind things, and uh, those block shots as well. Uh, pirate craft have some advantages in there, so if I had some pirate craft, they had some pirate craft. Um, those particular ones would have some uh, tactical advantages in the asteroid fields. Um, if we were fighting in a gravity well, uh, then there are some definite advantages to being higher up the screen, which is basically being in a higher orbit, uh, because uh, you can come down in orbit a lot quicker. Um, and since the shots are all ballistic, uh, having a shot speed advantage, you know, shooting from higher orbit and having gravity help you out a little bit, uh, makes it a little bit harder for the enemies to inherently dodge. Um, shots that in ships fire uh, are lead on the enemies, and so you do wind up with, um, you know, uh, shots connecting with a ship uh, that is in unusual motion, even um, if it's from a very long way away, unless that ship changes trajectory. And so that's where the speed advantage comes in, is if a ship changes trajectory, there's no way to lead that because you didn't know they were going to change trajectory. So, um, you know, if you're firing into a crowd, then you still <laughs> might hit something anyway, which is great. But, uh, uh, yeah, anyway, so we still have more to do in the coming month, um, but it's coming along really well. And I have to say, it's really darn fun. Uh, we hope that our alpha testers that are going to be getting into this uh, starting tomorrow, actually, will really enjoy this. And, um, we're going to be showing off uh, the metagame with the simulation and all the crazy stuff that uh, you get up there, up to there with the politics and the contracts and the wider sol solar system simulation and everything that's out there. Uh, really excited to show that. We're just trying to get the um, GUI uh, more cleaned up first, basically, and a little more balance testing done there. And uh, hopefully later this week we'll do a video with that uh, as well. Combat is certainly a really fun and integral part of this game, but uh, it is just definitely one part of it. There is a uh, you know huge grand strategy game, and this is more kind of the the micro tactics part of the game. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and thanks for watching.